Lincoln Conservatory. It's free admission. You can donate if you would like, but it's free admission. And some anthuriums. And like a huge stromatophyllum, bifanatophyllum. And the allocation, birds of paradise. Huge croton plant. Look at how huge this one. First time I went here, I wasn't into plants yet. Well, I don't know how to ID plants. And now I'll see how many plants I can ID. Look at this anthurium. How huge this leaf is. And I got birds of paradise over there. Huge majesty palm. Or just a palm, I guess. I know. Bromeliads. There's some like calatheas over there. False shamrock. And this is the lobster claw. This is a palm fruit. Oh, okay. So this is what I missed the first time when I was here. I couldn't appreciate it. But a Monstera Albo. Oh, this is a Monstera Thicon. Is it? Or a Monstera Albo? I really can't tell, but look how variegated that is. Like, first time I came here, saw this, didn't really think much about it or didn't even notice it. But then when I was looking back at my pictures, when I started getting into plants, I was like, Oh my god, I saw a Monstera Albo while I was at the conservatory and didn't even appreciate it. But look at that. I have some Calatheas over here. Philodendron. I believe this is a Florida ghost. More Calatheas. No, really large Fetonias and Caladiums. Prowler Farm back there. Monstera Celtipicana. Calathea rattlesnake. Alocasia regal. Pylea peperomoides. A golden pothos that is naturally climbing, and as you can see, at pets higher it becomes bigger. I uh, can see that's a little bit backlit but the leaves are huge on the top. Alright, Raphidophora decursiva I believe. Here's some more of that golden pothos. Birds of Paradise. Honestly, kind of proud now, like how many of them I could just identify without even looking at the labels. I believe this is a Gloriosum, I think. Not sure what this one is. It looks very familiar, but there's some more of that large Gloriosum. And here is, I think, a Sanadu. This one, I'm not quite too sure. Maybe a Hoya. It says a bleeding heart vine. And some um, Aglonemas. Desai Aglonema. And here's some more Calathea and 
alocasia regal sheets they are so huge all right rare plant lovers are gonna love these the black anthurium look how large that one is and we have some more here and some also alocasia dragon scale i believe just trying to look what's on the inside but look at that There's so many nice anthuriums in here and this is the flower yeah that's the flower and one of them and i think they're starting to form berries and then seeds and then go down here and i believe that one's another type of anthurium is it the queen anthurium not really sure but look at that some shingling plant over there not quite sure what that is and another one of those large anthuriums I believe and then just look at this bad boy how large that is green syngonium and yep neon pothos tanganthurium and this is a tradescantia i believe and i believe this is alocasia buddha crotons more syngoniums i, I think that's a variegated something I forgot to get that not the elbow I think this is the butterfly and this might be the mojito Ooh, it's a variegated alocasia alocasia mint I believe I don't know what type though silver sword philodendron another popular house plant well plant this is the sensitive plant so when you touch it all right it closes the leaves <laughs> let me try one more time like sensitive plant when you like touch the leaves it closes the leaves in the philippines we call this makahiya or mariposa i don't know if you heard my dad in the background he says it's practically everywhere grows like weed and this is hometown back in the philippines Hidden here behind the birth of paradise is the Monstera Adansonai. Also girls. Oh yeah. Some anthuriums, peace lily, Shadiscania zebrina, and Singonium, 
and we're back at the entrance. Let's go check out the fern room and another exhibit that's in two separate rooms. Here's again the Monstera Adansonai. Almost missed this one, but it's the Hoya Keriai Albo Marginata in a hanging basket. Like a papaya tree. In case you missed that earlier. And I like to go into the show house. Still like a sweep. I don't know. So I think this is the highlight of this place is this Ficus Elastica Ruby. Look at that. Let's go see what they have here. They have ficus plants surrounding this pond. I'm not sure what kind of ficus this is, but it's a really variegated one. First time seeing this. But I believe this type of ficus tree, if not a type of autograph plant, the variegated one. Not sure. Smaller version of that Ruby Ficus Elastica. And this one is flowering. And this. And some variegated ivy. Let's go to the orchid house. There's a tour going on though, so it, they might be loud. But. I got like some shingling plant up here. A vining ant plant. No, no. This is a very fragrant orchid. I hope. No, it's just It's not. There's another one down there. An older. Pineapple plant. Let's take a look at the fern room real quick. Let's start down here. That is a tour of the Lincoln Conservatory. I hope you enjoyed seeing your favorite tropical plants here. And I'll see you in my next one. Have a plentiful day. Bye.